Hey everyone, today we're gonna cover one of the most common questions for Unreal Engine users. Should I use Blueprint Scripting or C++ Programming? We'll go over the main differences, the pros and cons of each, and ultimately help you decide which one might be better for you depending on where you are in your game development journey. By the end, you will have a clear idea of which approach best suits your needs and goals. So let's get started. Let's start by talking about Blueprints. Unreal Engine's Blueprint system is a visual scripting language. Instead of writing code, you're actually connecting nodes in a sort of flowchart or network to define the functionality. Think of it as a powerful drag and drop tool where each node represents a different function or logic block that you can use to build out your game mechanics. Blueprints are perfect for getting your hands dirty with game development without needing to know traditional programming languages like C++. They allow you to experiment and try different things quickly because you can see the result immediately in the editor. This makes it an incredible tool for prototyping. Here is an example. Let's say you want your character to jump when you press spacebar. In Blueprints, you can set this up visually by connecting a node for the key input to jump action. It is simple and intuitive. Now let's move on to C++. Unlike Blueprints, C++ is a traditional text-based programming language. Unreal Engine is largely built on C++. And if you want to dive deep into the engine's capability, C++ is the way to go. With C++, you are not limited to the predefined nodes or visual logic. Instead, you write the code manually, and this opens up a lot of possibility for advanced customization and optimization. For example, if you're working on a game that requires a lot of AI calculations, physics simulations, or data processing, C++ allows you to implement these systems efficiently and precisely. C++ code can run faster than Blueprints because it's compiled directly, so for resource-heavy applications, C++ might be essential. In C++, a similar startup to make a character jump when you press the space bar would require a bit of code. You would have to write functions, define variables, and set conditions in code to make it work. This makes more time and expertise, but it also gives you complete control over the functionality. So which one is better for beginners? Well, if you're new to Unreal Engine or game development in general, Blueprints are incredibly beginner friendly. The main reason is the visual feedback. You don't need to worry about syntax errors, missing semicolons, or dealing with debugging tools. You connect notes, press play, and see the result right away. One of the biggest pros of Blueprints for beginners is the ease of experimentation. Blueprints let you focus on understanding the fundamentals of game logic without needing a deep knowledge of programming language. However, there are some downsides to Blueprints for beginners. First, while it's easy to get started, complex systems in Blueprints can become messy. As your game grows, the blueprint graph can become hard to read and maintain. Now let's shift gears to the expert side. For experienced developers or those building larger, more complex games, C++ offers significant advantages. The biggest strength of C++ in Unreal Engine is performance and optimization. Because you're working directly with the engine's core, you can optimize your code to get the best possible performance. This is especially important for high-end AAA quality games that demand a lot from the engine. For experts, C++ also gives you access to low-level features of Unreal Engine that you can't access in Blueprints. For example, you can optimize memory usage, handle complex data structures, and create more efficient algorithms that make the game run faster. However, the main drawback in the learning curve, C++ is one of the most complex programming languages and it can take years to become proficient. There is also the added time needed for compiling code and debugging, which can slow down your workflow. But if you're building a professional level game or have very specific requirement, 
C++ is often the better choice. A lot of developers actually use a hybrid approach, combining blueprints with C++. This is an incredibly powerful way to develop games because you can leverage the strength of both tools. Here's how it typically works. You start by building out your core gameplay features in blueprints especially for things that need fast iteration or experimentation. Then, for performance critical areas, you switch over to C++. Say you're creating an open world game. You might handle player interactions and UI in blueprints because they're quick to set up and don't demand too much performance. But for AI or physics-based systems, which need to run very efficiently, you would handle those in C++. The hybrid approach can be an efficient way to develop because it keeps your workflow fast and flexible while also allowing you to optimize performance in areas that really need it. So what's the best choice for you? If you're just starting out, I recommend going with Blueprints. They're easy to learn, quick to set up, and give you a strong foundation in game logic. You'll be able to create a lot of interesting features without needing to dive deep into programming. But if you're already comfortable with programming or if you're working on a large project that demands high performance, learning C++ is absolutely worth it. It will give you the power to customize, optimize, and expand your game in ways that blueprints cannot match. Also keep in mind that the two skills aren't manually exclusive. Many professional developers use both. And being able to work with both blueprints and C++ will make you a more versatile and religious developer. So in summary, blueprints are perfect for beginners and for quickly creating or testing out gameplay elements. They make game development accessible and are great for prototyping. C++ on the other hand is ideal for experts or anyone working on a complex or performance intensive games. It gives you full control and optimization, but with a steeper learning curve. If you're serious about Unreal Engine development, learning both will open up a lot of doors. Starting with blueprints and gradually learning C++ is a solid path to becoming a scaled Unreal Engine developer. So thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a like, subscribe for more Unreal Engine tips. And let me know in the comment section which approach you're most interested in. Happy game development and I'll see you in the next video.